Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of February 17th through the 23rd. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So Cancer, for this reading, I'm using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. I'm also pulling you an Angel Power Wisdom card and then also a Moonology Oracle card as well. Okay, let's see here. Wow, okay. So at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, I do have the tower. And so Pisces had the tower for their reading as well. And so maybe there's a Pisces Cancer connection. All right, let's see. So many of you are definitely dealing with change um something could have happened suddenly cancer maybe there was a surprise others there could have been a breakthrough of some kind maybe you realize something with the tower energy now the tower is not automatically negative don't think that can be something happening suddenly can represent that that aha moment that that breakthrough okay we have the tower we have the six of wands i have the world okay i have the world i have the sun i could just keep going cancer so um maybe some of you are dealing with a scorpio others you could be dealing with a leo uh could be dealing with a scorpio and a leo But this is this could be like dramatic change, something that happened publicly for you, Cancer. So if something left your life with the tower energy, this could have been a shock. So for some of you, this could be happening this week, or this might have already happened where there was this maybe shock something could have crumbled it might not have been built on a strong foundation for some of you though this is you moving forward you are starting that next chapter of your life now maybe something had to leave your life also something could have happened publicly for some of you But yeah, something could have left your life. It could have been a surprise. For some of you that I'm reading for, this could be like a blessing in disguise. If something has left your life, we see you leveling up. We see you graduating. We see success coming to you with the world, the six of wands, recognition. We see you actually moving in the right direction and dealing with for some of you, faded events, things that are very much meant to happen for you at this time. Now, sometimes when things leave our life, you you know, it's because you have to make that space. You have to make that room for for new blessings to come in. I feel like for some of you cancers that I'm reading for, something major, something major has happened. It could have been a shock for some of you, and it could have been in the public eye. But again, it's it's meant to happen. If something has left your life, it's meant to happen. You're just creating that space for, for something new to come in. Um, also, if you are a Cancer, where if there was a karmic lesson, if, if you were dealing with the same pattern or a cycle that was just repeating over and over again I feel like some of you have learned the lesson you're now able to move forward the lesson is completed you've learned it um, and so now the universe is, is allowing for you to move forward um, you have the wheel of fortune as the overall energy which is your luck turning around it, it represents change um, you're dealing with higher forces you're dealing with faded events 
and you're meant to move in a particular direction cancer and so if if people if if things are leaving your life a job whatever it may be if something is leaving let it let it go because something else is coming in something else is coming in i see that physical travel could be coming up for some of you as well so there could be a, a physical move maybe you're moving house for some of you uh we're starting out with the chariot so for some of you physical travel is coming up if you're not moving, you could actually be traveling here, Cancer, uh, this week to spend time with a friend. We have the Three of Cups here. Could be, could be a female. We have the Queen of Swords. So some of you could be traveling to see an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Uh, the Three of Cups can represent a reunion. Um, and so this could be a friend. For some of you, though, it could be it could be on the love front. You could be getting back together with someone with the Three of Cups. If that's the case, I see you taking the initiative here with the Chariot taking control, taking matters into your own hands here. Maybe you're reaching out to someone. And if there was, if there was a breakup, I do have a couple here. It's possible that a few of you that I'm reading for, you know, maybe there was a breakup. Uh, some of you could be trying to get back together with this person or they're trying to get back together with you. It's possible here this week that you guys are still not completely over this. You could be mad at them. They could be mad at you. I would watch, I would watch my communication. We do have Mercury in retrograde and just the energy that's here, you know, it's a little tricky here. So you want to watch how you communicate, especially if you want to reconcile with someone. You want to watch how you say something. The King of Swords can be quite harsh. And so if you did have a falling out with someone, if there was a breakup, but you do want to get back together with this person, yeah, um... For some of you maybe needing to take like a more lighthearted approach to this, uh, a softer approach, um, I see what's needed is both of you contributing here equally. And if there was a breakup, I mean, that could have been the problem is maybe it was like a one-sided relationship. Um, it could have been like a codependent relationship one person giving 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 helping the other person and this could be financially i see something out of balance so those of you that did break up most likely um most likely there wasn't an equal exchange here um you could have always been helping this person financially or vice versa uh, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower, this can absolutely represent the universe stepping in and putting a stop to something. So if that was the case, um, it's possible that the universe has stepped in. And in that case, this would be in your highest good to move forward. Maybe some of you do need to be single here with the Three of Cups. You know, go out with friends, enjoy yourself. If you've been staying in, here we have the Four of Cups, staying in and feeling quite lonesome, bored. Uh, for some of you, maybe needing to take a chance here with the Wheel of Fortune um, in this position, needing to take a chance, spin this wheel, try something new, maybe needing to go out with a friend.
If you're a Cancer that has been waiting on a loan to come in, we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles, and with the Tower energy in the Wheel of Fortune, for some of you, a loan is coming in. Now, maybe you've been struggling financially, could have felt rejected um, with this combination. For some of you feeling rejected, weighed down. But there's a change. So for some of you, there's a change. Change of fortune here with the Wheel of Fortune and, and also with the Tower, a breakthrough. Something happening when you least expect it. Um, and with the Five and the Six of Pentacles, this is help. This could be generosity, some sort of help that's coming in for you. Those of you that applied for a loan, this could be a loan that's coming in here. You could be signing something here this week. For others, this could be a friend. Maybe a friend is helping you out if you did just go through like a, a huge change in your life, Cancer. Like if a job ended, something drastic happened, this would be generosity from a friend, someone coming in here and helping you this week. You know, to be honest, four of cups, five of pentacles, I could be reading for some cancer males that maybe a friend is trying to help you. Or if this is on the love front where someone is trying to reconcile with you, you could be rejecting them. Um, let's pull you some additional guidance cards. Cancer, additional guidance for cancer. So very interesting reading. If you are waiting on like a loan to come in uh, for a new car, I definitely see that happening. You know, if your car just died, something sudden happened for you. If your car died um, and you felt stranded, you felt unlucky, I see your luck turning around. For some of you, that loan is coming in. I see some of you celebrating. In particular, there could be an Aquarius who's significant here this week, an Aquarius, a Leo, a Scorpio. All right. We do have a Pisces new moon here this week, so set those new moon intentions. All right. I'm going to choose from these here. Cancer. Uh, the Chariot is a card of victory. I think that some of you that I'm reading for, you've gone through a very significant change here something big something big now for some of you it's a blessing in disguise this is very much meant to happen for you here at this time so look for those uh synchronicities for some of you it will kind of feel like a domino effect you know one thing happening uh and then and then something else happening because of that you're definitely dealing with uh, faded events here, Cancer, this time. Okay, interesting, interesting. Your calling, your life's purpose is like an awakening to put your gifts and talents to good use and enjoy the journey of life. Beautiful card. So, if you've experienced a shakeup, if you're in the middle of a shakeup right now, Cancer, for some of you, you're actually moving towards your calling, your life's purpose. So this is major. This is major for you. And then we also have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. A Taurus could be significant. But for some of you, you're actually moving towards your calling, your life purpose. Yes, there's more work that's needed. Uh, for some of you, you need that, that practical plan. You need to also put in that hard work. Um, Taurus is, is one of the most hardworking signs in the Zodiac. They don't give up. <laughs> um, uh, they're known for their perseverance. So if you've been lacking financially or if you felt uninspired within your career you know it is time to make some changes here listen to your intuition some of you are being pulled in a certain direction okay you might need to you know take the initiative here this week with that chariot energy also we have that that new moon so set those intentions and move forward okay cancer so I hope that you found this reading helpful if you are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe I do appreciate it um, 
If you guys are interested over on Vimeo, I do have the 2020 yearly readings. That link is below. Also over on Facebook and Instagram, I do the dailies. If that's something that interests you, my links are below. All right, guys, have a great week. Take care.